was born in 1919, and didn't consider himself to be an artist until the 1960s. It was then when he suffered from an accident that left him without the use of his legs. Stuck at home, bored and in pain, he turned to painting to express his feelings and the world around him. His name was Moses Tolliver, but he always signed his portraits, Mose T. Using simple figures and vibrant colors, like his self-portrait shown here, he was known for his portraits of himself, his family members, animals, and fruit. No matter what or who he painted, the colors were always vibrant and the pictures had a touch of a sense of humor. Today we're drawing inspiration from Mose Tolliver's work to create our own celebration self or family portraits. For this project, you will need a pencil, a permanent black marker, and some watercolors or crayons or markers. So you can use a pencil to do your drawings and then trace over it later with a black marker, but I just went ahead and used the black marker here so that the camera could see it. The body shape that Mose liked to use for his portraits was very distinctive, and we're going to start with that. First, make a big W shape. Then you're going to draw a line to close off the top of the shape. Then you're going to add a small rectangle on top of the shape to make the neck. After that, a big circle for the head. And then this is the nose. It's a big U shape that connects to the top of the head. Mose used this shape for the nose in almost all of his portrait paintings. Use simple round shapes with dots for the eyes and a small mouth. And this is the hair. He used a sort of a rainbow shape to wrap the hair all around the head and it connects to the top of the head. And then Moses' arms always connected at the top near the shoulders or the top of the pants. And then some just lines for the hands. Since we want to look like we're celebrating, we want the arms to go up in the air as though we're saying, yay! And here's where you can personalize by adding shoes or feet and then some buttons or a collar. We're going to add a loose wavy border. And then you're going to flip your drawing over. Mose liked to look at things from a lot of different angles and would often flip over his painting to draw more elements. He often included simple animals like this dog or sometimes birds or lizards. And since this is going to be a summer celebration, I wanted to put some of my favorite summer fruits. Mose used a lot of fruit imagery in his paintings. I chose cherries and a strawberry. Flip your painting back over and get ready to choose your colors. Mose usually only used two or three colors at the most. When Mose started painting, he used whatever was available to him, and that was house paint. I'm going to choose three bright summer colors, red, green, and kind of a brownish yellow. Fill in using whichever colors you like. And when you fill in the nose and the hair, Mose always used the same color for the nose and the hair, so it looked like one continuous shape. After filling in my color, I added some dots using all three of my paint colors, so it looks like confetti. And we're pretty much done. The other trademark that Mose had was the way he signed his name. He always wrote the S backwards, so here I wrote PS Arts with my S's backwards. When you sign your name, maybe pick one of the letters in your name to do backwards. And if you want to celebrate with your family, you can draw portraits of them as well. Have a wonderful celebration, and no matter where you are, you have the freedom to imagine and the power to create. Thank mm -hmm. you.